There's a lot of misconception about Christianity and who a Christian is. It's not always an easy term to define. So hang around, we'll talk about it. He carried your sin on the cross, reconciling divorce between you and my God. You and my God brought back to the original cause, the original path. Scrap your calculation down to the original man. What does Christianity mean? I mean, what, what does it even mean to be a Christian? Now, to know that you're going to have to go back to the very first time the word was used in the Bible, and that will be Acts 11, verse 26, where it says the disciples were first called Christians at Antioch. Now, it wasn't the disciples who gave themselves the name Christians. It wasn't Jesus Christ who gave the disciples the name Christians. It was the people of Antioch, unbelievers, that gave the disciples the name Christians. Now, the name Christian carried a derogatory undertone. It meant little, little Jesus, Christianos. Now, when you have a child, you get to name the child. And that's the funny thing about the name Christians. It wasn't given to us by us or by our father, Jesus Christ. It was given to us by all the people. It was given to us by the people of Antioch. And that's also why the word wasn't very popular in the Bible. And this may blow your mind. The word Christian was used only three times in the Bible. However, the word disciple was used 273 times. Jesus Christ never used the word Christian. Actually, the disciples never used the word Christian, except Peter. Paul never used the word Christian. They refer to themselves as the believers, the faithful, the disciples, the elect. Now, when Christ was living earth, he said, go and make me disciples. And that should be our focus more. We should focus more on the word disciple rather than Christian. Because the word Christian carries a lot of ambiguity to it. And sometimes I ask people, would you consider yourself a, a, a Christian or would you consider yourself a disciple? And some of the time they would say, I'm a Christian. Some others would say, I am a disciple. And some would say, you know what, I, I'm, I'm both. However, you cannot be a, a, a Christian without being a disciple. And you can't be a disciple without being a Christian. Because it was the disciples who were called Christians. So to be a Christian, you have to first and foremost be a disciple. A, a disciple is simply a follower or a student of a leader who wants to mold their lives according to the life of their master. To be a disciple or a Christian, you're going to have to want to pattern your life. You're going to have to know about Jesus. You're going to have to know him. And we know that Jesus embodied the fruits of the Spirit. What are the fruits of the Spirit? The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control, and so on. Jesus walked in the fruits of the Spirit. Now, as a disciple, I'm not going to be perfect, but I'm growing in love. I'm growing in peace. I'm growing in patience. I'm growing in kindness, gentleness, self-control, faithfulness. And that is a Christian, one who is actively participating in the process of becoming like Jesus. So why do we refer to ourselves as Christians today? I think we simply just embrace the name. I mean, it does make sense to be called Christian after all. We are sons of God. We are, in other words, little Jesus Christ. In all of this, I think the most fascinating thing about this Christian journey is that we are becoming like Christ. And we have such great tools in the Bible, in the body of believers, which is the church. And we have the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God living inside of us that help us grow our personal relationship with Christ. Thanks for watching my video. Now, if you enjoyed it, why don't you hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it with a friend, and I'll see you next time.